Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the Horror Story and Braytech Werewolf weapons that got re reintroduced uh, this Festival of the Lost. Now, it's pretty much going to be so, so different because Horror Story, I'm going to pre pretty much shit on. Not going to lie. Braytech, on the other hand, it's going to be a little bit more positive. So let's look at the perks real quick before I start talking shit. Grave Robber, Killing Wind, Firmly Planted, Subsistence, Ambitious Assassin, and Outlaw for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be Sympathetic Arsenal, Demolitionist, Osmosis, Moving Target, Snapshot Sights, and Slideways. So, let's talk about the, the role that I got. I ended up getting a Subsistence and Demolitionist role with a Reloading Masterwork, which is unfortunate because Subsistence and Reloading just... Okay. Uh, I think this is okay role for me. I don't really mind it i'm never going to use it quite honestly just because 450s why would i use a 450 unless a 450 meta is coming other than that that's the only reason why i would say like farm for these weapons because you might never know uh 450s might get a boost and become meta even even though we need well, yeah we need more assault rifles being meta right now so if you were to ask me what would you use for pvp i would probably say like killing wind and moving target Killing Wind and Snapshot Sights would probably be the play. It's very unfortunate that Osmosis is not in the other column. It would have been great if Demolitionist was paired with Osmosis, as in like Osmosis then Demolitionist, just because that's a really good pairing for PvE. But we don't live in a world where Bungie likes to do stuff like that. So we're stuck with either Demolitionist or Osmosis, which... I don't know if you guys know, but I'm just that I'm annoyed by that. It's just like it's very fucking obvious that they should have done that. But okay, whatever. So, but yeah, that would be like I would have loved to see Grave Robber and Swashbuckler in this. That would have been a good role. That's a a role that most people would have been like, yeah, this is cool. Like that's the thing. It's like these perks just do not make it worthwhile, and it's not even like a damaging thing. Like sure rampage on this would have been fine actually it would have really fixed a lot of this because subsistence and rampage would have been great subsistence and ambitious assassin would have been nasty outlaw and rampage is literally a classic bread and butter perk rolls that just it's good it benefits so killing win and rampage to a certain extent is dude like this just feels like a missed opportunity but whatever i'm never gonna use this weapon so no skin off my bones, so what the fuck ever. So the next weapon is going to be the Braytech Werewolf. This is where my tone changes a lot. Let's look at the perks before I start talking about what roles I got. So first is going to be Dynamic Sway Reduction, Slide Shot, Underdog, Mulligan, Under Pressure, Fourth Times the Charm for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be Unrelenting, Swashbuckler, Elemental Capacitor, Tap the Trigger, Eye of the Storm and Vorpal Weapon. So fortunately, this actually has so much going on for it. Dynamic Sway Reduction, Tap to Trigger. Obviously, that's a role that people are going to want to get. I fortunately do have that role, but I did not get a stability or a range masterwork. I ended up getting a handling, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think it's handling. So... That's unfortunate. I would have preferred either a stability to just bump that even more or a range master rig. So, which means I'm most likely going to farm for another roll. I pretty much ended up getting almost everything right except the master work. And the other one is Mulligan with Vorpal Weapon. Now, interesting note. This weapon does drop with Armor Piercing Rounds. So, you could technically do Armor Piercing Rounds with Mulligan and like literally anything else. So that way you can benefit for the Titan. Because I know that armor piercing actually activates Mulligan. And if you pair it with a with a Titan with the chest piece specific to uh, getting ammo back to your um, assault rifle. Then you could pretty, pretty much shoot for days. Again, it's a 450. So I don't know if it's that viable. But might never know. Might be really cool. Mm, the role that I got was obviously Mulligan and Vorpal Weapon. Sounds cool, but... Personally, I would have loved to get Mulligan with like maybe Swashbuckler to really see how nasty it could get. Dude, this this is how you do it. This is really good. All of these perks are really good. Uh, dynamic Stray Reduction with obviously Tap to Trigger. A lot of people are going to want that. Dude, tap, Fourth Times the Charm with like Swashbuckler or 
Vorpal weapon. I can see people saying that would be great. There's just so much roles that I would pr much prefer with this. Honestly, like the fact that I ended up getting dynamic stray reduction tap to trigger on like my first roll just made me extremely happy because I was like, okay, cool. Like I really don't care about the range master work or the stability master work to that extent. Like I, I just wanted the perks. I don't give a fuck about anything else. So me personally, I probably will not farm for another Bray tech werewolf aside from maybe maybe the armor piercing rounds mulligan and swashbuckler roll that would be a nasty roll to have just because we're i'm getting i'm getting so much ammo back and I, i'd be hitting the enemy honestly bray tech werewolf is a lot better it's just very unfortunate that we did not get a third weapon especially since they they really since 110s are getting a buff they should have done a 110 uh weapon can you imagine duke with new perks would have been great. I would have loved it. But yeah, we don't live in that world. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you excited for the Break Tech Werewolf or the Horror Story? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the support. I really do appreciate it. And other than that, I will see you guys later.